proposed underground sewage vault at McKinley Park in Sacramento could now be significantly delayed or it might not even happen at all. So this month, attorneys representing a group of East Sacramento residents have filed a lawsuit complaining the city failed to comply with state environmental law when submitting plans for that project. Fox 40's Doug Johnson joining us live in McKinley Park with more on what's slowing the project's momentum. Doug. Hey, Eric and Nikki, this is no small tank we're talking about. It's going to take up the area of about three acres, and the city says it will solve a lot of the flooding problems that they've had in this issue. They also say it'll be out of sight and underground, but this lawsuit is claiming that the city did not do its research on how it might affect people that live nearby. Since the 1870s, McKinley Park has offered a welcome retreat for Sacramentans looking to escape the city's streets. It's very nice, especially in the fall, because the leaves are so great and I can point out all the squirrels and the ducks to him. For those we spoke with enjoying the park today know that serenity could be fleeting after seeing dozens of yellow signs warning about a 3.2 acre sewer tank. Yeah, the signs right across the street from the park. I mean, that's a lot of area, so I can't imagine it being buried down here somewhere. But. In 2017, the city announced it wanted to install a giant water storage tank under the baseball field Ready. to alleviate flooding. During storms, the tank could collect more than 7 million gallons of waste and storm water, which would later flow back into the sewage system. There is obviously the odor issue that will emanate from uh, this vault. Attorney Stephen Cook represents a group of residents who live near the park. This month, he filed a lawsuit against the city, claiming it failed to conduct an environmental impact study. Concerns about the elderly, the neighboring daycare, the folks who use the park, all um, being exposed to this hazardous material. And, and really the failure of the city to adequately investigate those concerns and mitigate the damage that will be caused by them. Construction is scheduled to begin this spring. However, Cook says that's not likely going to happen when the city wants. I can tell you that if they begin or attempt to begin construction on the vault before this lawsuit is resolved, we will seek uh, to have the court intervene and to halt that construction until these issues are adequately addressed. And a spokesperson for the city told us they could not comment on our story because of the pending litigation. However, the city did say that initially it is scheduled, uh, this whole project is scheduled to be finished by late 2020, although it does appear that this lawsuit has the potential to push that timetable back. Reporting live in McKinley Park tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Okay, Doug, thank you. Let's take you up to Plaster